Hey, welcome back to RV Kitchen with Aveda Cooper. We were talking about the big electrical shock that you'll get if you try to put in too many appliances at one time and run them all at once. Uh, things won't work too well, will they, Aveda? <laughs> no, they won't. And there is a great need to know about how your electrical works when it comes to your RV. That's right. Yeah, I mean, there's 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 several systems in an RV, and you know we cover a lot of that in uh, Ask the Professor with Terry Cooper and. And, uh, but you know, this is something that you know the the uh, the the head of the household, the uh, the ladies uh, who maybe are spending the most of the time in the kitchen. Although I, you know, not to be sexist, we have to say that a lot of guys like to do that too. I'm a I'm a kitchen guy too, somewhat. So, uh, but you, you but you got to know, you got to know what you're doing, and you got to know uh, what what the power demands and requirements are. So, uh, it's important. Um, we uh, you, as as usual, you have some uh, some products that you'd like to talk about some items that are uh, possibly of help in the RV kitchen. That's correct, Dave. Um, I do want to mention, do you know that most RVs that are purchased are are be purchased because the woman loves the layout of the kitchen. There you go. Um, so it's very important to know those sort of sorts of things. Right. Yeah, it is. So what what what's first on our big list of recommended items here? Because the kitchens don't come furnished, right? No, they don't. No. <laughs> uh, they, they come with all the big appliances, but you better, uh, you, you want to come and uh, bring your own things. Uh, the very first thing on, the, on this list is Paula Deen's cookware. I own Paula Deen's cookware in that red, and let me tell you, it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, at 120 bucks for the 10 to 12 pieces that you would receive in that set, wow. that's great. I love that set because of the uh, depth of the sides of the pots. Uh, it's easy to use, takes temp high temperatures very well. Uh, it is recommended that those do not be uh, put in a dishwasher, but most of us in our RVs don't have that anyway. So. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a problem. Uh, I'm skipping across here, and I'm showing the different kinds of cookware that's available. As I was in Bed Bath & Beyond and snapping some of these photos, uh, what it's just showing that you can spend as little or as much as you would want in your cookware. Mm -hmm. Obviously, some is the, the quality, um, the, you know, is some is not so well, but, you know, each to his own. And all the way across to that cruising uh uh, La Cruz uh, enamel cookware. I really do love that, but you have to know that that is very, very heavy and it's very pricey. But this stuff is even capable of even going out on the campfire, right. uh, depending, you know, if you're not using the lids with the. Um, so that's like the a little cat, uh, rubber a, handles and like, things like that. So a lot of that's cast iron. Is that what? The, what is mm -hmm. that why? Yeah. Uh, l l let me ask you though: is is it typical? Uh, I, I guess it depends on the kind of camping you're doing, I suppose. But does cookware kind of take a bigger beating uh, in in the RV? Does it should it be built for uh, durability more so than a, in a home uh, situation, or is it about the same? Well. I believe that it just depends on the lifestyle that you have. There are so many people that are enjoying their, their RV lifestyle, and they love to do campfire cooking. Mm -hmm. I recommend that you get some good quality pieces for the, the campfire. Obviously, right. um, they'll, they'll take the usage more, and they'll be banged around more, and they can take that. Uh, if you're more so a cooker just straight off the cooktop in your RV, uh, you know, investing in a great set of cookware is is good too but obviously you can use the the um cheaper uh sets that um basically don't have longevity but uh it just depends on your lifestyle yeah there so again. yeah and so it, it yeah it depends on what you're going to be doing okay so all right so that's so there's some th three three good choices uh and uh just depending on you know kind of your budget and your needs that's we, those are those are ones that you can select. What what else is on here? We're looking. That's a count a wine cellar on an RV. Hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Um, when I saw that, I just thought, yes, I can do this. Uh, Terry and I actually have some friends who are full timers that have one of these in their RV. It's not costly. You can see by the price there, one hundred fifteen dollars. It holds uh, six bottles of wine. Have them cooled continuously. Uh, and I apologize that I don't know the exact 
electrical pool, but like I said, our, the friends of ours that had their motor home here in Waco visited, and, and uh, they had that set up actually in their bedroom on mm. one of their uh, uh, dresser tops. Um, but I thought that was great, and one thing I did love about it, it, only, it was under 20 pounds, and what a great deal. So you right. can't complain about the, the being heavy, you know, okay. so it's great. Yeah. All right, and then the, what we have next here is a couple of different blender options or blending options. Yes, this one does need to be uh, hooked up to uh, electrical. Um, I did really like this because it did so much and it eliminated a lot of different things because of the things that this uh, one unit with the interchangeable uh, tops. Uh, it went everything from vegetables to meats, even cheeses. Uh, and you know what? Something pretty powerful has to be able to, I mean, it has to be powerful if it's going to handle cheeses because right. that's a little bit tougher than uh, veggies and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and I was really impressed with the wattage that it uses, only right. 500 watts. And uh, hey, it's definitely a great buy for the right, RV so kitchen. Right, so this is that's the the Magic Bullet Express Meal Machine is what it's called. But it's it's we're seeing it in both of those pictures here. Oops, I I slipped ahead there. But that's uh, it's it's both of those pictures that down. You're seeing some of the accessories there in that that middle picture there. So correct. All right, yeah, that's uh, the one that the, you you see the infomercials for the smaller unit on television quite a lot. I think. So. Yes, I even I was at an RV show here a couple of weeks ago, and there was a great uh, unit. And I'm I'm thinking you can probably pick that up on Amazon, and it it was called the Salsa Maker. Okay. Uh, it used no um, uh, electrical. It's all just a little elbow power right and it worked great and it was small in size and i was i really did love that little unit hey if you've got kids you know you throw all the stuff in there and then just say here make some salsa right <laughs> it was get great. your exercise <laughs> 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 okay what's next on it we've got some uh storage solutions here that you were looking at as well that you're going to talk about yes um, over on that f the far left, uh, this is a little wire unit, and what I really loved about this is actu actually clamps on the shelf in mm -hmm. place, and instead of having to stack your your uh, um, plates or lids or whatever you're doing horizontally, you do it vertically. Mm -hmm. uh, for the price, it was great. Uh, $9, oh my goodness, you can get several of these and line them up across that, that shelving, and it's a great uh, right. storage solution. Yeah, it actually, it uses the verti uses that vertical space <laughs> that you sometimes end up, you know, it's kind of wasted unless you've got an extra shelf in there or add shelves to it, too, right? Correct, yeah. correct. All right. Uh, the, the next item, what I really liked about this, obviously you can put any kind of bottles in there. Of course, this is spices. Uh, what I liked about this, it had a little lip on the front of each shelf. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, as in transit and so forth, maybe you wouldn't have near as much problems with things staying in place. Right, okay? yeah. Okay? Now, is this uh, something... Obviously, you could use this for any room of your RV. Right, yeah, it's not just the spice rack, but you could also... now, And, and then you could probably permanently... Or, you know, adhesive attach that somewhere in a cabinet too to prevent Absolutely. sliding. Absolutely. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. And Dave, on the next item that over on the far right, uh, I'm all about things like this that mm -hmm. help you get the, uh, to maximize the space up in your cabinets or even your lower cabinets. To me, the biggest gripe that I have about my kitchen cabinets. Uh, is the fact that it doesn't, um, the shelving is misplaced to where I, I lose so much of that area. So I really have to do my planning on what I can do to get more space, mm -hmm. use more space. Great. So these come in a lot of different sizes, and I just chose one to put there so you can see how your whole dinner set can sit in right. an area, and you can get to it, and it just goes upwards yeah. instead of laying down flat. Right. And I mean, it's just, this is kind of, uh, this is uh, sort of a voice of experience, I think, uh, from, and which is obviously why we have you here, but it's the sort of thing that a newbie may not think about right away that no you really you really want to have you know better ways of, of organizing things you're not going to take a ton of plates but then that leaves extra space that you could be using and these kind of devices really help make better use of it and that's I think RVers come to this eventually, but it's good to have this information up front. <laughs> you're right you know we all can learn things through trial and error 
uh, but that's not the best way to do things. No. And it doesn't make our lifestyle experience the best that it can be sure. by going through trial and error. Right. Uh, why not go ahead and do a little uh, research and uh, plan to get the best space you can out of your kitchen? Let's face it. These RV kitchens, there is not a lot of room there. No. Uh, so let's do what we can on making it uh, more more efficient and when the more efficient it is the more fun it's going to be too uh yes, it, it leaves you free to really enjoy the the travel and the lifestyle as well what's our next item here looks like a drying rack of some kind or is you that... know i guess that you could probably use that uh -huh. for a drying rack however dave this is something that you just actually slip into your cabinet okay. it will hold your cookie sheets and your baking pans and anything that's round what i liked about it it really it held held it snugly um even though there is a chopping board and some pans there but you can see how versatile it is right sure it's it's a, it's it's for larger items essentially but it can it can hold anything Yes, and for the price, fifteen dollars. That's great. Go. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, and paper towels. Everybody uses them. Where are, where are they? <laughs> they paper towels. Yeah, they're probably if you don't have them up on something like this, they're in and they're not in a good space. No, they're always. Okay? That's why I say, where are they? It's like when it's, it's you know without a paper towel rack, it's you know you know where where did you put the paper towels? Now where are they? Now where are they? You know. <laughs> I th I think. This little gadget, whatever you may choose, uh, uh -huh. obviously it won't be a big investment, and right. but it's worth the money, that mm -hmm. is for sure. When I was at the, uh, an RV show here just a week or so ago, I was even surprised on seeing one of these mounted in the storage unit outside mm -hmm. in, the fifth, in the fifth wheel storage unit. Oh, sure. I thought, what a great thing, you know. Uh, we all need little uh, handy wipes, uh, you know, doing different things around sure. the RV. Uh, don't stop in the kitchen. Put them everywhere. There you go. There you go. What's uh, and our last item here for uh, is another towel rack. I think we we did look at this one before, but you put it back here because because I just think it's a fabulous item. Mm -hmm. um, if you will go to spacesavers.com, uh, that's on this particular slide. That's where I picked up most of these pictures. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great item. I do feel like people do neglect their towels. Uh, and, and I say that in respect of them being wet mm -hmm. and they need to dry properly. Uh, if they don't dry properly, then bacteria will set up. Mm -hmm. And it's real, real important to do this, and it's an attractive uh, addition to your to your kitchen. Right. And now spacesavers.com is uh, one of those. It, it just kind of brought something to mind here is that a lot of the solutions for saving space and making better use of space in an RV don't necessarily come from the RV store. I mean, the, many of them do, but you know, there are there are good ideas uh, all over the place at uh, at, at various uh, home outfitters, if you want to call it that. That's correct. In fact, I stopped at the big box store called the container store mm -hmm. everybody if you live in a bigger metro area you've seen one of these and they're mm -hmm. fabulous stores and they have lots and lots of options i actually visited with an alpha uh uh person that was uh there for the store in fact that's their biggest um line of products is from alpha oh, okay anyway they they were telling me that an RVer can come into their store, give them the dimensions of their their cabinets, and they will actually build you like um, different kinds of pull-out drawers, baskets, um, de depending on what your budget may be. But you can get it, go in there and give them those measurements, and they will actually take your entire kitchen and just uh, do you a fabulous storage unit or units mm -hmm. Great. that'll make your your kitchen just fabulous that's fantastic okay well uh we have covered storage and electricity and appliances and a whole bunch of stuff next we're going to see how eveda shops for an rv kitchen so stay with us Today's show is brought to you by Angie's List, where you'll find thousands of unbiased reports and reviews about service companies in your area. Whether you're looking for a roofer, plumber, house cleaner, dentist, or even a doctor, Angie's List members share their experiences with each other so that you can choose the service company that's right for your job. Companies can't pay to be on Angie's List, and the reviews come from people just like you who have had experience with the companies mentioned. To find out more, go to rvnn.tv and click on the Angie's List ad.